This video is solving inequalities with addition and subtraction. Let's start at looking at our inequality symbols. We have greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to. Let's use these symbols and graph some inequalities. Here we have x is greater than 3. So let's start by drawing our number line. For this class, you're only going to use three numbers when you do your number lines. Start in the center with the number from the inequality. So I'm going to start with 3. Put 1 greater, 4, and 1 less, 2. Now I need to graph this. 3 is not a solution, so I'm going to use an open dot. Notice I put it above the number line, not on the number line. And then I need to show that x is greater than 3. So I'm going to draw my arrow to the right to show that any number greater than 3, but not including 3, is a solution to this inequality. Let's look at our next example. I'm going to start by drawing my, lump, my line. I'm going to use 4 as my center number. 1 greater, 1 less. This time, x is greater than or equal to 4. So 4 is a solution, and I need to use a solid dot to show that. It's greater than, so I'm going to go to the right. And now I've shown that x is greater than or equal to 4. Notice how you show the different kinds of inequalities using a solid or an open dot. So if we look back at our symbols for inequalities, greater than would use an open circle, less than would use an open circle, less than or equal to would be a solid dot, and greater than or equal to would be a solid dot. Now let's apply this with a more complicated inequality. We have x plus negative 8 plus negative 11 is less than negative 15. The first thing we have to do here is to simplify our inequality. I have like terms on this side of the inequality. We solve it just like we would if this were an equal sign. So, x plus negative 8 and negative 11 gives us negative 19, which is less than negative 15. Now, I need to undo adding negative 19. Well, the opposite is subtracting negative 19 or adding 19 to both sides. Now, you may remember the transformation principle of addition for equality. But this isn't an inequality, it's an inequality. So we're going to call this the transformation principle of addition for inequality. x is less than 4. I had a negative and a positive, so I had to subtract. Now I can graph this inequality. I make my number line. 4 is my center number. 1 greater, 1 less. It's not equal to, so I need to use an open circle. x is less than 4, so I need to draw my arrow to the left. And that would be this inequality graphed. Notice you have to simplify it first and then graph it. Let's do one more. I have negative 12 and 1 tenth plus 16 and 4 tenths plus x is less than negative 3 and 7 tenths. We start by simplifying both sides of our inequality negative 12 and 16.4 
should give us negative oh, positive 4.3 plus x which is less than negative 3 and 7 tenths. Now to undo adding 4 and 3 tenths I need to subtract 4 and 3 tenths and I need to show that I'm doing this to both sides. This would be the transformation principle of subtraction for inequality. It's not an equality, it's an inequality. X is less than, be careful here because you're subtracting a number from a negative. So you want to add the opposite and this is going to give us negative 8. X is less than negative 8 and this is what I need to graph. My center number is going to be negative 8. One greater would actually be negative 7 and one less would be negative 9. This is less than so I'm going to use an open dot and x is less than so I need to go to the left and now I've graphed my inequality. There are two problems for you to try and apply what you learned in the video. And this is the end of the video on solving inequalities with addition and subtraction.